today with a tutorial and a review on the Beyond Meat Burger. Um, we did a video on this, we'll, we'll, have, we'll link it, but we did a video on this like last year I think on the, yeah, Beyond, like, on the Beast Burgers. I don't know. It was last year but it wasn't this one. Yeah. Wasn't they like, were like the frozen patties or something. Those this, are pretty good. Those are good. But but this, this right, right here. here. So these are completely plant based. Kosher free um, and no gluten. No, no, where did I get kosher free from? <laughs> There's no soy. Kosher salt. No gluten. What? helping us film so um, these patties are vegan 100% vegan there's no soy no gluten it's GMO free there is 20 grams of protein per patty mm -hmm. 20, 20 grams of protein so that debunks the myth that you don't get protein as a vegan yeah um, the there's is 290 calories per patty um, each patty is four ounces Pea protein is the main ingredient. Main ingredient. It does not taste like peas. It does not taste like peas. Nothing. It like tastes it. very similar to meat. So if you're a vegan that doesn't like meat, or you probably you may not like it, but you if would, you're somebody that's yeah. either struggling with your transition and you like and you like the taste of meat, or you're vegan and you just want to have that meat taste every now and again, this is really good. Um, I wouldn't say meat taste, but like yeah, but. That consistency. Okay. So basically, how you cook these, you can cook them like on a grill or you can cook them in a skillet. The, what we're about to show you, we cooked them in a frying pan on the stove because we were just rushing. Our dad has a grill and he's cooked them on the grill. So we hope y'all enjoyed this little mini tutorial of how we cooked them. And I mean, you can feel free to add anything that you want to yours or spice it up however you like. But. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
I should put it in there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We cooked our burgers they were good they were really good um so i guess i want to go down some of the pros and the cons of the burgers um one of the pros for me is that it is soy free it doesn't have soy yeah that's so that um you shouldn't really you know eat a whole bunch of soy like every day like we meet like eat like the garden and tofu and stuff like that but we don't stuff, eat it like, every like with soy day. in it but we definitely don't eat it like every single day or large amounts all the time yeah i try to stay away from um soy because of you know gmo issues but a con a pro is that it's soy free and gluten free um because some people are you know can't eat gluten yeah another pro is that they cook fast when you're hungry yes they cook real fast another pro is that they're not heavy like you eat them yeah, that's true. but it's they're not heavy in your stomach like beef like when you like, eat beef like i haven't eaten beef in a long long time but yeah when you eat beef and most of the time they can feel heavy and this still is and pretty nasty light. the next day like, yeah but these you get full yeah. but it's a different kind of food right just, you get full but it's not doesn't make you feel heavy and, yeah and groggy like beef does um, okay, cons. The only con I have about it is that they stick, stick to the pan. I use a lot of non-stick spray and they still stick to the pan. Um, and I've used a different, a lot of different pans because we thought we just had a ratchet <laughs> pan. <laughs> but we used like yeah. two different pans and they stuck to both of them. So, I don't know. If y'all try it out, let us know if, that, if you have that problem. But we use non-stick spray and we used a couple of different prime pans and they still, we still have some yeah. stickage issues. I don't know if it's just because it's the pea protein or... I don't know the plant fat. I don't know. It just was Kinda giving me some problems. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really have any more cons. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. If you don't like meat, then you probably shouldn't eat it because it tastes very close to a real hamburger. Like very, very close. Yeah, Even my kinda. dad, who is not a vegan yet, he's a flexitarian. He's a flexitarian. Um. But he's not a vegan yet. He's a real big meat eater. And even our baby sister behind the camera, oh. they say they like them. So. Um, yeah, so that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. um, we'll come back with another video. I guess what we should make next. If we should we'll... do another challenge video. Sure. It needs to be a, a safe If you one. haven't checked out our challenge video with 5, 15 and a half, go check that out. We'll link it below. It's the baby food challenge and we put our own little spin on it. Alright y'all, we'll see y'all next time. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And, and if you want more videos like this, again, put a hot. Put a hot.